Be hasty to fight what you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Consider first. Mm -hmm. That's right. Then the Lord says he will open your understanding. Mm -hmm. But you first have to consider. Consider. Yeah. When you consider, you're open-minded. You're not, your mind is not just closed in your ignorance. Mm -hmm. That's right. Is that the truth? Amen. But when you don't consider, you'll find yourself fighting that which is of God. In fact, there was a brother in the scriptures named Gamaliel, a Pharisee, a doctor of the law. Mm -hmm. And his advice were to those who wanted to afflict the apostles, if you will. He advised them, refrain, refrain. from these men. That's right. Let them alone. Leave them alone. If this work or this counsel be of, be man, of man, it will come to naught. It'll come to naught. But if it be of God, you cannot overthrow it. You can't beat it. Lest happily you be Lest found. happily you be found. Even to fight against God. You can't beat holiness. Yeah. Can't beat it. I say holiness can't be beat. Yeah. That's right. By no religion. By no preacher. Mm -hmm. By no imam, by no rabbi, by no monk. He shall take holiness. Holiness just can't be beat. For an invincible shield. Do you hear what the book says? In the wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and verse 19. He shall take holiness. Holiness. For an invincible for shield. For an invincible mm -hmm. shield. It, it, it's invincible. That's right. It can't even be penetrated. <laughs> That's right. That's beautiful, too. Yes, it is. Holiness can't be penetrated. Mm -hmm. So, this is not a man-made religion. No, it's not. No prophet started it. No apostle started it. It was here before the world was. Before. That's right. Before the foundation of the world, it was ordained of God that we should be holy. That's right. Holiness teaches us how to conduct ourselves. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. Holiness gives us the intelligence of God. That's right. Teaching us how to live in a manner that pleases God. And believe me, it is designed to displease self. That's right. So, brothers and sisters, uh, I, was, I, I believe the meeting last night helped. Quite a bit of people based upon so many folks shaking my hand talking to me. <laughs> Amen. People was coming to me, male and female. Thank you, Pastor Jennings, you helped. I mean, all the way walking down the aisle till I got on the church grounds outside. Pastor Jennings, you helped me. Pastor Jennings, you helped me. Pastor Jennings, you helped me. <laughs> the word of God is designed Amen. to help everybody. Everybody, that's right. Who want to be helped. That's Amen. right. A person have to want it. Yes, mm -hmm. And when you want it, God will make a way for you to have it. That's right. But you first have to want it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Williams, open your book anywhere and let's, mm -hmm. let's get busy. In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 21 and at verse 11. Listen. He that keepeth the law of the Lord. He that keepeth God's law. Getteth the understanding thereof. That's plain. And all thine getting, the scripture says, get what? Understanding. Understand before you fight. Right. Understand before you bicker. Right. Understand before you retaliate. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, in that, you'll make a fool out yourself. Yeah. That's right. When I was coming up in the hood, we you know we used to get out there and box. But we was taught to understand what is it. Mm -hmm. So you're not just looking at a person's hands. You're looking at their feet movement. And sometimes by feet movement, you can determine what's the next jab coming up. That's right. Because if you're not watching a person's feet, then based upon your jab, you got to stand a certain way. Or you may jab and knock yourself off balance. That's right. 
The scriptures is a balance. Oh, yes. It's an even balance. Mm -hmm. And to balance the scriptures, you must make the prophets and the apostles agree. That's right. You cannot have the scriptures contradicting itself. Mm -hmm. This is where religion and so many preachers have made a mess. They go to the Old Testament and have a prophet fighting one of the apostles. That's right. But yet all the book is divinely inspired by God. That's Amen. right. Listen. He that keepeth the law of he the Lord. He that keep God's law. Get, getteth the understanding get thereof. Get the understanding of it. And the perfection of the fear of the Lord. The perfection of God's fear. Is wisdom. There's fear. Mm -hmm. And there's fear that's perfected. That's right. Now, some of us fear God, but it's not perfected. That's right. Because when a thing is perfected, it's complete. Yes. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and to depart from evil's understanding. So Amen. there are many that fear God, Amen. but is your fear perfected? That's right. When your fear is perfected, it shows you there's more than one stage of fear. Yeah. That's right. So therefore, if we must grow and develop in God, our fear yeah. that we have towards him, that must grow and that must develop. Yeah. Because right. the more you learn how powerful he is, the more you can fear him. That's right. You can't fully fear what you don't understand. Amen. So the book says, in all thine getting, what should we get? Get understanding. How can you get understanding if you don't have a preacher to have understanding? That's right. If the blind leads the blind, they both Oof. fall into the dick. So the preacher and the follower are victims mm -hmm. of ignorance. I had preachers ridicule me. You preach fear, fear. to the people. I most certainly do. Oh, fear yes. God. Fear God. Fear God. It is written. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear, Fear God. God. Fear God. Keep his commandment. For this is the whole duty of man. That's right. Yes, we preach fear in the people. That's right. I don't preach you to be afraid of me. No. no, no. But fear God. Fear God. When the apostles preaching the written, fear fell upon every we soul. Saw. That's right. The churches are in the condition that they're in because the fear of God is not taught. Mm -hmm. Only thing is taught is some hypocritical blessing plan and God got a miracle with your name on it. God ain't got nothing with your name on it. That's right. The only name you should be pursuing is the name of the, the Lord of the Jesus. Lord. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. The name of the Lord Jesus is the name that we pursue. That's it. It's not only the name of God, but it's also the work of God. Work. Right. Listen. And the perfection of the fear of the Lord. The perfection. Now, this is the way our fear must get in God. It's perfected. perfected. In other words, your whole life revolve around the fear of God. That's right. That fear will motivate you to respect God for who and what he is entirely. That's right. You will never treat him like a man. You will never disrespect them like you do, man. Mm -hmm. And you will strive to live by honesty first with yourself. That's right. See, it's important that you're honest with yourself because if you're going to lie to yourself, you will lie to God and anybody else. Amen. So as I often encourage the church, if you're going to be honest about your sincerity towards God, mm -hmm. You also must be honest about the wickedness that is in self. That's right. Don't just look at the good in you no. as if you good all the time because no. ain't, ain't nobody here good all the time. Not all the time. In fact, let me tell you the way Jesus said it. Mm -hmm. There's none good. Good. One. one one. That one. And that one is God. Is God. Are you listening? None good. Think of it. Jesus left us an example that we should follow his steps. Mm -hmm. So therefore, he's going to judge the world in righteousness mm -hmm. by that man or by that example that was ordained. That's right. Look at the stiff measuring stick. Jesus is the measuring stick 
of life. That's right. In other words, you put Jesus on the scale, and we put on the scale. When the scale rock, they have to balance out equal. Balance out. That's right. As it stands now, it doesn't balance. Oh, no. Because we're still striving to measure up. That's right. To such a hard, difficult, strenuous law. Anyone tell you, oh, serving God ain't hard, they ain't serving him. That's right. No, they ain't serving. No, you no. ain't serving the God of heaven. Amen. You may think you are. Thank you are. You look at what God demands out of you as a people. Yes, Lord. You tell me walking with God or serving God or trying to please God is not hard. You're not doing it. You're not doing it right. When the book of scriptures made one statement, mm -hmm. deny self. That alone right there. goes against your entire lifestyle. That's right. That's hard. That's right. Who in here wants to deny themselves? Mm -hmm. Come on, raise your hand. Amen. Who want to get into the kingdom of God? Everybody. Who wants to deny themselves? <laughs> but you still want to get in, don't you? <laughs> That's right. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. And it shows you the constant conflict or warfare that you constantly have with self. That's right. This is why God established a way. Man come along and set up Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, non-denominational, Mormon, mm -hmm. all these religions. All these religions. Because none of these religions demand that you must change. That's right. None of them. None of them. You can still drink, you can smoke, you can gamble, you can party, you have Christian party, Christian rock concerts, a Christian comedy club, and all this garbage under mm -hmm. the name Jesus. Amen. But then God says, be ye holy. Be ye holy. As God is holy. That's right. And then command that everybody born of a woman be holy. Be holy. Everybody. Everybody. God demands that everybody born of a woman be holy. Now, if the church is not just in Norfolk, but the world. The world. Truly believe the scriptures because it, it is would written. just be one way, one religion, one law that everybody would go by. That's yeah. right. You ain't got no business being a Baptist and one is a Methodist and one is a Catholic and one is a denominational. He's my son, we all want, we all God's children. Who told you that lie? Amen. It is no such thing that everybody in the world is God's children. No, oh, no. Well, God made us, but that don't mean you his child. That's right. Well, who else in the world got children? The devil. The devil. You are of your father. The scripture says you are of your father. The devil. You are of your father. The devil. Now, this is where honesty coming at. <laughs> That's right. How many here is God's children? Let me see your hand now. Come on. How many here is God's children? Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. <laughs> How many here find themselves at times being one of the devil's children? Amen. Everybody may well put your hand up. Put your hand up. That's right. I'm trying <laughs> You might as well join in. Now, what do you say, Bowser? You too. Me too? It got me too? I'm on the devil sometime, Bowser. <laughs> now, you know what? That's the truth. That's the truth. I'm not no high-minded, arrogant preacher who believes in putting himself on a pinnacle. That's right. Because there's none greater than God. That's right. And the moment these preachers humble themselves and realize you're nothing but a speck of dust. That's it. And God demands for you to be transformed like everybody else. That's right. This is our Flesh. trouble. Yes, it is. Isn't it? Amen. 
And until you acknowledge that yourself is in need of improvement yes. and true conversion. True conversion. Jesus said, That's when right. thou art truly, truly converted, converted, yes. then yes. you strengthen your brother. That's right. So I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How can a God sent man preach so hard and sometimes he's of the devil? Hmm. Let's go to the book and I'll show you. That's right. Let's get Brother Peter. First in the book of St. Mark, chapter 8. And begin reading at verse... Because people have a wrong perception of a God-sent man. That's right. See, remember, he's a man first. That's right. He's of God afterwards. That's right. He got to strive to be right just like you do. That's right. The problem is that these preachers won't tell you that. No. Listen. Mark chapter 8 and at verse 31. All right. And he began to teach them. He began to teach them. That the Son of Man must that the suffer son many of man things. Must suffer. And be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed. Yes. And after three days rise again. Yes. And so can, what is the problem, brother? At the scan sent out. Oh, all right. Well, I tell you, so y'all don't have to keep standing, you know, and he don't have to keep moving y'all back and forth because he got to make adjustments. Once y'all just kind of relocate down here because I can see he's going to be in and out. Mm. And I don't want y'all to have to keep, you know, have to keep getting up and whatnot. So y'all can just kind of rotate and come down here and rest yourself. Mm -hmm. That way my sisters don't have to keep going. Mm. Uh, there's three can get there and there's some more seats right behind right over there. There's mm -hmm. some right over there. All right, let's get busy. Come on, brother, let's have it. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things. Son of Man shall suffer many things. And be rejected of the elders and of the chief priests and scribes and be killed. Then what? And after three days rise again. Listen. And he spake that saying openly. He spake that openly. And Peter took him. Peter took Jesus. And began to rebuke him. And chastise him. But when he turned about and then, looked on then, his disciples. Then... Jesus turned about and looked on his disciples. He rebuked Peter. Jesus laid Peter out. Saying. And what did Jesus say to the apostle Peter? Get thee behind me, Satan. That's right. Peter was acting according to the spirit that was in him. That's right. The devil was, This is what it means when it says, you have your father the devil. Mm -hmm. Whoever you are obeying at that time. You are the child of that spirit. That's right. Are you listening? That's true. Whoever you are obeying at that time, you are the child of that spirit. That's right. And that spirit becomes your closest relative. My Lord. Your father. My Lord. Mm. Are you listening? Amen. Drinking your Christian beer, smoking, gambling, I don't care what it is. If it's sin, mm -hmm. you are of your father. The devil. The devil. the devil. And it says the lust or the desire of your father. He will do. He will, he will do. do. That's right. It says you will do. Will. That's right. Come on, son. And get thee behind me, Satan. Listen, Jesus talking to Apostle Peter. Get behind me, Satan. For thou savest not the things that be of God. Holy. But yet the book says all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. That's right. All scriptures are given by the inspiration of God, and they are. Mm -hmm. But for the thou apostle savest, Peter, God was not moving on him to sin. That's right. Satan dealt with Peter. That's right. Someone said, well, where does inspiration come in? Events and what's written is to let everyone know that come after what is written that all scriptures, some way, somehow, everybody's life, sometime, mm -hmm. is going to be fulfilled in some place of the scriptures. Yeah. That's right. I don't care whether it's good or bad. Oh, yeah. Some way, somehow, your life mm -hmm. is going to be fulfilled in the scriptures. Yeah. That's right. If you go to hell, you're going to fulfill the scriptures. That's right. If you divorce... You fulfilled the scriptures. Amen. If you lie, you fulfilled the scriptures. If you're a faggot, <laughs> that's right. You fulfilled the scriptures. Still fulfilling. Now, now let's not think that fulfilling the scriptures is all godly. Oh no. 
Let's not think that now, because some of us say, well, if I fulfill the scriptures, that means, you know, I'm doing pretty good. It depends on what you're doing that's in the scriptures. That's right. False prophets fulfill the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, many false prophets shall come and shall deceive many. That's mm -hmm. preordained. That's right. Ordained is written to this condemnation. That's right. So everybody's life fulfilled the scripture, but it's only godly when that thing is pleasing in the eyes of God. That's yeah. right. Come on, brother. Go back to where you are. Back in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 21 and verse 11. What is it? He that keepeth the law of the Lord getteth the understanding thereof. And? And the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. We must, as a people, have fear perfected. Yeah. Complete. Complete. I mean, really complete. That's right. Many people don't fear God because they don't believe that when you read the scriptures, you got to look at it as beyond a story. That's right. Now, if you just read it as a story, you ain't going to fear or believe. No, you won't. Scriptures are actual events that have took place in the world mm -hmm. and events that are to take place That's right. in the world and events that is to take place in the world to come. That's right. But if you look at any man that teach the scriptures mm -hmm. and only teach it based upon past mm -hmm. is incompetent as a teacher. That's right. Because he must be able to see how does the past point to us in the present. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. You must be able to see how does the past. I can look at David and Goliath and read it. Mm -hmm. But if I don't have broad knowledge, mm -hmm. it's just a young kid fighting a big man. That's right. And getting one smooth stone and knock them down and cut the head off, well, mm -hmm. I'm just stuck with the story. That's it. But if I get knowledge, mm -hmm. I come back and look at that same young man, David. That's right. Fighting a giant which represents a power greater than self. That's right. And notice he didn't use his own ability to slay the giant, mm -hmm. but he used God. Amen. One stone. One stone. That's right. One stone. That's right. Hit the giant in the head. That's right. Go ahead. Brother. You understand? Go ahead. Hit the giant in the head. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing that God do to bring down a person. Right. Goes right to the head. That's right. Because your mind is where all the trouble is. That's right. That stone hits you. Stone hits you. If you fall on the stone, you shall be, shall broken. be broken. But if it fall on you, it'll grind you to powder. That's right. So the mind is the thing that gives us the most trouble. The body take a rest. Get a break from that. Mm -hmm. But the mind, mind, it just keep going. That's right. This is why the advice was given to us through God by the apostles. Let this mind be in you that's also in Christ Jesus. He says, let it. Let it. Let it. That means you have to volunteer to submit to it. That's right. But you can't submit yourself to a mind you haven't been exposed to. That's right. You got to be exposed to God's mind. Oh, yeah. And the only way you are exposed to God's mind is through teaching. That's right. Whenever the word of the Lord is taught, mm -hmm. that's God's mind. It's God's mind. That's right. Misunderstand me. It's not all of God's mind. No. It's just some of it. That's right. Because there's not a book in the world that can contain all of God's mind. Of my, that's right. How can you can, can contain all of God's mind? Uh, Job described God this way. He's higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, longer than the earth. That's right. There's no measurements to God. No, no. From everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Oh God. There is no boundaries to him. That's right. There is it nothing he cannot do but one thing. One thing. He can't lie. He cannot lie. That's the type of God I want. That's right. He cannot lie. That's right. A God that cannot lie promise these things. That's right. Listen. And the perfection of the fear of the Lord. The perfection of the fear of God is wisdom. Is wisdom. He that is not wise. He that is not wise. Will not be taught. Will not 
be taught. Brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. I don't care how much book learning you go into college or institution, mm -hmm. you won't find the wisdom of God there. No, yeah. no, no. The wisdom of God is right here. That's right. And a man can't get it out of here unless God give it to him or unless he's taught. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. The book of scriptures wasn't a group of men that got together with great long beards and just decided to write something because they ain't had nothing else to do. Amen. It's not designed that way. Knowing this first. Listen. In 2 Peter chapter 1 beginning verse 20. Knowing this first. That no prophecy, that of, the no scripture prophecy of the scripture is, is of any, any private interpretation. But what happened? For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. Do you hear that? Prophecy came out of old time by the will, by the will of man, by man's own opinion, mm -hmm. man's own accord. Right. Why do you think so many men is not able to interpret scripture? That's right. They come by their own will. That's right. Now, the prophecy came out of old time by the will of man, but holy men of God, Baptist men of God, holy men of God, Lutheran men of God, holy men of God, Pentecostal men of God, holy men of God, non denominational men of God, holy men of God, Catholic men of God, holy men of God. Where you devils come from? <laughs> That's right. I've been telling you moreover, where that junk you got come from? Where, where did from? it come from? Amen. It came from hell. That's right. Walking around bragging all proud, I'm a Baptist. <laughs> That's right. So, so, why would you want to be what God is not? Amen. If you're a Baptist, tell me is your God Baptist. Yeah. That's right. You Catholic, tell me is your God Catholic. Amen. If you're a Muslim, tell me is your God a Muslim. That's yeah. right. I remember I talked to a Sunni Muslim and I asked him that. Is God a Muslim? He said, oh, yes, brother. Oh, yes. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Yes, God is a Muslim. I said, well, the Muslim mean one that submits to God. Mm -hmm. He said, yes. I said, so if God is a Muslim, who does God submit to? Amen. God submits to no one. To nobody. God don't submit to nobody. That's right. So God cannot be a Muslim. Cannot be. Is God Pentecostal? No. No. It's written God is a spirit. That's right. If it says God is a spirit, a spirit. hold it. Hold it now. A spirit. Hold it. Go ahead, brother. John 4, 24, God is a, a spirit. spirit. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what kind, what kind? of spirit yeah. is God? That's right. In the book. He is a spirit. A spirit. Yeah. But what kind is it? That's right. What kind? That's it's right. like someone said, Raj is a boxer. What division? What division? What weight class? That's right. What kind of box? Is he South Pole or what? That's right. What kind? What kind? That's right. Dan is a doctor. What kind? What kind of doctor? Bone surgeon, foot and ankle doctor? I, what kind? What kind? God is a spirit. a spirit. What kind? What kind of spirit? That's right. Lord, take God. Let's see what kind of spirit is the most high. In Leviticus <laughs> chapter 19 and beginning Why verse 1. Why do you think he's called the Holy Hallelujah. Ghost? Yeah. That's right. Holy Spirit, not Baptist ghost. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. You in a Lutheran church, then why you don't have the Lutheran ghost? That's right. Go ahead. You Pentecostal, why you ain't filled with the Pentecostal ghost? Go ahead. Go ahead. Your ghost supposed to match your religion. That's right. Your ghost supposed to match your religion. That's right. Glory to God. Go ahead. Your spirit supposed to match your religion. Supposed to match what it. are you doing walk around? I got the Holy Ghost. What's your religion? I'm Baptist. That's right. You all mixed up, How jacked up. Amen. Your spirit and your religion supposed to be the same. That's right. Because you're supposed to be filled with the spirit of your religion. That's right. It is the spirit of your religion that's supposed to teach you. Amen. That's supposed to motivate you. That's right. The spirit of your religion is supposed to be the teacher of your founders. That's right. Your prophets. That's right. You shouldn't find a Mormon saying he Go got ahead, the brother. Holy Ghost. That's true. No. Oh, no. He's supposed to have a Mormon spirit. That's right. Go ahead. What spirit, what spirit are you of? That's right. 
Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. What spirit are you of? Go ahead. How can you be Baptist and have the Holy Ghost? How can you be Lutheran and still professing the Holy Ghost? Well, if you're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit in the Baptist church, then you should be serving a holy God. That's right. Not a Baptist God. That's right. Go ahead, man. You don't even know what spirit you are. You don't know. I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Okay, what, kind of, what, what is your God? Is he a holy God? Is he? Mm -hmm. Think of it. Because God declared what he is. In, in Leviticus chapter 19. Listen. And begin reading in verse 1. What is it? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. And what? And say unto them, Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Lutheran. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be non-denominational. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Baptist born and Baptist gone. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Pentecostal. Ye shall be holy. Look at what you have throughout the tire water area. Fire baptized holiness, non-denomination, Methodist, Catholic, Mormon, Muslim, Seventh-day Adventist, all these different religions. In your neighborhood, 10 and 15 churches. And everybody come out being a so-called Christian, 10 and 15 different ways. Use some common sense. God is not the author of confusion. So why would the God of heaven, who know all things, Give you all this religion and tell you, pick what you want. Pick what you want. A Baptist wife on top of a Lutheran husband. Go ahead, brother. Producing Catholic babies. That's right. With a Pentecostal granddaddy. That's right. And a non-denominational father-in-law. Amen. All these religions all under these one roof. That's right. Go ahead, brother. The prophet said, a highway shall be there. Shall be there. And a way. And a way. Hallelujah. And it and shall, way. And it shall, shall be, called. be called. The way of holiness. The way. The way. Of what? Of holiness. Of what? Of holiness. What you got? Amen. You a member of these churches, giving all this money for years, that's right. working on outreach programs. And all. What kind of religion you got that's in here? That's in here. The Lord our God, when he come to resurrect the church, he's coming for the same thing he left here. He didn't leave Baptist, no. he ain't coming for it. That's right. He didn't leave Christian scientists, he ain't coming for it. That's right. He didn't leave these so-called Jehovah Witnesses, he ain't coming for it. That's right. He ain't coming for it. Oh, no. Go ahead. And they shall call them, Listen in Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 12, they shall call them the holy people. The non-denominational folk. The holy people. Give chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 12. And they shall call them the holy people. I want to stitch you so tight you can't fall and loose at the seam. That's right. Some of you have been in these false religions 30 and 40 and 50 years. Amen. And some of you have never even thought is your religion in the scriptures. You haven't given no thought. You've That's been going right. through the same ritual for years. That's right. Go to church, get dressed, or go on Easter, or go on Christmas. Two lies. That's right. Routine. Routine work. Go to church a drunken usher, <laughs> or go to church a skyed up deacon. That's right. You're going to die one day. And I can fool all your life if you want. You're going to die one day. Yes, Let me tell you something. When they roll your corpse in that church, your jerry curl hair, Virginia Reverend can say, oh, what do you want about you? That's right. You're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. And you're not following God holy way. You're going to hell. That's right. I don't care if it's your mama, your slap, happy grandpappy, or your daddy. That's right. And holiness, it is written in Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 14. And holiness, without which, without which, no man shall see the Lord. You ain't going back with God unless you're holy. That's right. You hear what the word of God said? And holiness, without holiness, without which no man, what? No man. You mean I got to be holy to see God? And holiness, I got to be holy. This is the only thing that gets you in. That's right. 
Without holiness, no man shall no man. see the Lord. I don't mean go to a church that got on the building holy temple. No. That's like having on the building a supermarket and you ain't got one can of beans. <laughs> That's right. Holiness is a lifestyle. Yeah. It is the way of God. Yeah. It is God's way, God's law, God's precept, God's standard. That's right. Taught and revealed to his prophets and his apostles and handed and taught to us today of people that want to be right. Anyone can have on their building holy church. That's right. I hear some folks say, my mama go to a holy sanctified church. What is that? What is that? And you know what most folk judge that church by? Because people be shouting. Right. Holy sanctified church. They do that shout. Yeah, they yeah. run around the church. <laughs> so what? What good is all that running and you don't know nothing? That's right. Sit down and learn. Yeah. That's right. You're running like you in the Indiana 500. Go ahead, brother. You run a fool and sit down a fool. That's right. Knowledge is power. Amen. Not based upon how much movement is in some church. That's right. The church is the dumbest institution when it comes to the book yeah. in the world. Go ahead. The only thing you learn is God got a miracle. What's your name on? What's your name on that? You got some preacher that tell you the Lord just spoke to me. Just a minute. That's right. The Lord says there's about 500 more dollars over here. Mm -hmm. And he'll give back to you 100 fold. Mm -hmm. Come on, children, let's obey the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you'll find folk just running up there. The Lord ain't told you nothing. That's right. And he know the Lord ain't told you nothing. <laughs> but because he know you's a Bible sucker. <laughs> Go ahead. Walk around with the book under your arm, nothing but a religious sucker, because anybody can have the book and don't understand the don't contents understand. of the book. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Follow peace with all men. Do you hear? All the scriptures points to one way. That's right. And that way is called holiness. Holiness. This stuff that is in the world today mm -hmm. is not in here. No, it's not. You don't find a Baptist church, a Pentecostal church, a non-denominational church, an African Methodist Episcopal church. Do you know how AME came about? Mm -hmm. Do you even know how AME came about? Go ahead. African Methodist Episcopal came about because there were some slaves. That's right. Who was influenced by the white slave masters, mm -hmm. who was Episcopalian. And the white slave masters would not let the Africans be a part of the church. Right. So therefore, they separated in time from the slave master and start their own church still with the stigma of the slave master. That's right. African Methodist Episcopal, mm -hmm. which is letting you know we're not white Episcopal. Mm -hmm. We're just product of white slavery that they want us. That's right. So we start African Methodist Episcopal. You see, God's church is not centered around a race. No, it's not. So no church should be called African anything. That's right. That's None. Right. No, that's right. No church should be Richard. called African anything. No, no. Go ahead. No church. All white church. All black church. God just had the church that's upon right. this rock. That's right. I'll build my church. My church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. That's it. That's right. You brag because you go to a church, we all black. So? So? Big deal because you come, we all black. Big deal. That's right. Well, I got a white preacher. So what? So what? What is that? That's right. Walk around all, all digging. Uh, I'm a white bishop, and he has a PhD. Yes, PhD in ignorance, and <laughs> got a DD in hypocrisy, and that's right. The doctor of hi hypocrisy and everything, and mm -hmm. and this is the mentality of many people. Mm -hmm. Let me get real raw. Yeah, go ahead. Some of us today. Cannot accept truth mm -hmm. from a black man. That's right. But some of us is more hasty to accept truth from a white brother or mm -hmm. a high yellow brother. That's right. Because they feel as though if you're not white, at least you're light and you're close to bright. Close to it. That's right. 
That's right. This is the mentality of some of us. Amen. Some of us still got their own stupid way of thinking. Yeah. Amen. That's why when God made me a preacher, he just made me a preacher. That's it. Crush everything. Crush yeah. everything. That's right. Your color don't mean nothing to God, no. and your color don't mean nothing to me. Amen. You black, so what? So what? Your black body will go to hell. Amen. You white, so what? That's right. That white skin will go to hell. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. God go ahead. just had the church. The church. Oh, don't look at me. Well, that's a black preacher. I'm just a preacher. That's right. The spirit that is in me is colorless. That's right. Being that is colorless, I can fight anything. Fight anything. See, Go the ahead, spirit brother. that is in me is colorless, mm -hmm. so I'm not attached to no race. That's right. No color. That's right. I'm just a preacher. Amen. Don't describe me as Pastor Jen is the, the black, black preacher. preacher. No, Pastor Jen is the preacher. That's, That's it. That's right. You don't Wonderful, find brother. in here Wonderful. Peter, the, the white prophet. That's Peter, right. the white apostle. Like you find these folks walking around. Uh, there are black people in the Bible. <laughs> what else is new? What else is new? Oh God, every race is in here. That's right. But because there's black folk in the scripture, that doesn't give the scripture that authentic authenticity because there's black folk in there. No. A whole lot of black folk in there. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Glory to God. I want to cook you a little. Oh, yeah. Labor Day is approaching. Mm. That's right. Cookout time. It's cookout time. That's right. Lord, God, I want to roast you while I have you. Follow peace with all men. You young folk running around here smoking, drinking, and gambling, and partying, and having a good time, mm -hmm. and ain't thinking about God at all. Mm -hmm. You young girls running around having baby after baby after baby after baby and never get a husband. That's right. You live in homes that don't have no family. Mother's a stranger. Daddy's a stranger. Everybody just come in and out at will. Mm -hmm. And you go to church, and the church is just as worse as the street out there. Amen. That's why folk look at me as the oddball. Whenever Amen. God sent a man, listen, people get knowledge. Right. These men that's preaching the blessing plan, God have never, in God's existence, mm -hmm. never sent a man to just teach you how to make money. That's right. You got college for that. That's right. Schools for that. That's right. Whenever God sent a man, Let's read the scriptures. Read them, read that them. man was sent to warn the people. That's it. Warn them before wrath come. That's right. And it's coming too, brother. It's coming. The preachers are quiet. Mm -hmm. Why? You made them too rich. Made them too rich. Yeah. Right. It's written that they're dumb dogs and Cannot can't bark. bark. If I got a watchdog, I want him to bark. That's right. Let me know something's going on. Something's going on. But if somebody going to come to the gate or try to climb over the gate, the only thing my dog got to offer me is go through the motion of right, barking. Right. Nothing coming out. Nothing coming out. I'm going to put them to sleep. Put them to sleep. <laughs> Amen. Are right, you listening? Amen. Many of your preachers that you have, some of them you won't leave your false church because your relative is the pastor. Right. What is that? That's right. Some of you fathers are proud about your son because he's a preacher. What kind is what it? What kind? You can be the daddy to a young false prophet. That's right. That's Some right. of you wives are married to a pastor who's a false prophet. A false prophet. You sleep with the devil's servant. Yeah. That's because right. Because he's your husband and you proud of him. Mm. That don't make him God's man. No, no. Call a spade a spade. Amen. Either that man is sent of God or he's sent by hell. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I don't care how beautiful you believe you are. It's heaven or hell. God away or no way. That's right. Are you right. listening to me? Amen. Amen. Okay, what kind of house you got? How, what, the kind of car you drive? How many cars you have? Oh don't God. get caught up in that junk. No, no. Your spirit going to come out of your body and you're going to stand before God. That's right. And you're not going to impress God with your house, no, no. your car, mm -hmm. your clothing, your shape. Yeah. How many men compliment you? Oh, girl, you look good. When you go down to the grave, down to the grave, now you become food. That's right. 
Don't you know that? That's right. Brother and sister, when you die and go to the grave, you're food. For when a man is dead. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 10. When a man is dead. He shall inherit. He shall inherit. Creeping things. Creeping things. Beasts. All that good looking woman that you love to praise. That's right. Baby, baby, baby. Look at you, girl. Amen. Never repented of her sins. Never was baptized and didn't want it. Mm -hmm. Wanted to run right after every man out there in the street like a classic neighborhood hoe. <laughs> That's right. Richard. <laughs> Amen. Richard. Go ahead, brother. Then when she died, mm -hmm. you drag her in some Baptist church, some church. and here comes Reverend Charlie. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he knows she's on the way to hell. Amen. But he don't want to offend the family. Mm -hmm. So old Reverend Charlie with his PhD and DD. They're there. Family of the deceased. Uh, I don't know this sister. And I, but I'm sure that's, right. ha, that's some mm, over yonder. That's right. Uh, this sister's going. I see her with her mother. Go ahead. Going to hell with her mother. With her mother. Tell the truth. Tell the truth yeah. about it. See, some of you look at us on television and say, Pastor Jennings, you mean you don't have no love. No, you ain't nothing but a religious spoiled brat that's right. in sin so long. Now you face with reality and you don't know what to do with it. Amen. I'm not your problem. That's yeah. right. God is your problem. That's yeah. right. I'm sent to tell you what God said, That's not right. tell you what you like. Go ahead. I don't care what you like. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm interested in what God wants. Preach it. Preach it. I don't preach. care what you like. Go ahead, brother. I don't preach for money so I can afford not to care what you like. That's right. I'm interested in what God said. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what I'm going to say, God. Go ahead. That's what interests us. That's right. Jesus said, look up, look up for your redemption journey. Right. That's right. That means everybody in is coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing to make ready for the arrival of God? The prophet said, when God rise up, what you going to do? What you going to do? What are you going to do when you look up one day and there's God in midair? My Lord. What are you going to do? When God come. You party lovers. Go ahead. Still gonna be partying. Go ahead. You false prophets that are here. Go ahead. That thank you some preacher. Go ahead. You're gonna be a false prophet when God come yeah. if you don't change. What yeah. shall I do? You that fight the name of Jesus Christ. Fight the name. Fight the name. Fight the name. Go ahead, brother. What are you gonna do when Jesus come? That's right. Mr. Fighter. Go ahead. Go ahead. I heard there was somebody in here barking. Mm -hmm. I'm here now. That's right. Don't do all that barking when I'm not here. Go ahead. Don't do barking when I'm not here. Go ahead. I'm here. That's right. You can bark loud as you want. That's right. You want to challenge me about the name Jesus? Go ahead. Just bring it right now. Go ahead. Put up. Oh, shut up. That's right. Preach it. Go ahead, brother. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Shut up. Oh, shut up. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. The name of the Lord the is a strong tower. power. Righteous run into it. Yeah, hallelujah. Go ahead. Just one tower. And a safe. And a safe. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go Nobody ahead. fight the name of the Lord Go Jesus ahead. but the devil. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. When you tell me you want to fight the name Jesus. Fight the name of the Lord. That's a declaration of war. That's right. Go ahead. That's war. That's war. You're going to come here in this God-given territory. Amen. And do all that bad talk. 
Go ahead. I'm here. That's right. Produce your fighter. Go ahead. Or sit down like a coward. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is real here. Oh, yes. Go ahead, man. Pour the spirit. Go ahead. And it's one school of tyrannus. That's right. We fight false prophets. Fight them. That's right. To deliver the people. That's right. Tell them. That's right. From darkness and like hallelujah. Go ahead. From the power of Satan unto God. Go ahead, brother. Go you ahead. men want to fight the name of Jesus fight the name Christ. Of the Lord. Whatsoever ye do. Listen at this. In Colossians 3 and verse 17. Whatever you do. In word. In word. Or deed. Or deed. Do all. 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 Do all how? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's the only scripture I need. I don't need to read no more. No more. So you that want to fight the name Jesus. Amen. Come on up here. Come on up. Be a man and come up here. That's right. You're not a fool. <laughs> That's right. Not a fool. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. We known for men talking bad when we ain't around. That's right. Cat is gone, you get a playing mice. Sure. <laughs> That's right. My God, the name of Jesus is the most strongest thing in the world. That's right. Whatsoever you do. Whatsoever you do in word. Whatever it is. Yeah. Whatever it is. Including baptism. That's right. Whatsoever. Whatsoever you do. In yeah. word. In word. Baptism. Words got to be said. That's yeah. right. What else? Or deed. The actual baptism that's being done is a deed. Yeah. Do all. So the words are uttered and the deed are performed. What must I say? Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. David came to Goliath Go ahead. and said, I come. In the name of the in Lord. In the name. Go ahead. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. Go ahead. The apostles at one occasion, when yeah. they approached, after the miracle was done, Go ahead, man. money was offered. That's right, that's that's right. Right. And they said, silver and gold, have I, none? I don't have. But such as I have. But such. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The apostles letting them know, I got something. That's right. More valuable than money. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I got something. That's right. More valuable. That's right. Much stronger. That's right. It has more purchasing power. That's right. Such as I have give I thee. In the name. In the name. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Of Nazareth. Of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. That's what I'm asking you to do. That's right. Rise up. In the up. name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up. Get up out your chair. And walk. And walk on up here. That's right. Go ahead. Get up. Go ahead. And walk. That's right. Come on down. That's right. That's the right. price is right here. The price is right. That's right. <laughs> the price is right here. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 This thing that God gave his apostles had the same strength then That's that right. it does now. That's right. I don't want no Hallelujah. weak religion. Go ahead. I come running here talking about the name of Jesus Christ. You must be out of your mind. You must be out of your mind. That's what we operate in. That's right. That's what got the truth of God banging so hard. That's right. Name of Jesus Christ is that force in back of it. That's right. That's what brought you here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. For the name given among men whereby you must be saved. Must be saved. Are you listening to what I'm talking? Go ahead, brother. Come on, son. Follow Everybody peace. all right? Amen. Come on now. Follow peace with all men. Holiness. And holiness without which. Baptist without. And holiness without which. You folk that are Baptists, I'm going to tell you right now, you can't be saved being a Baptist. 
No, no. I don't care what your mama told you, your daddy told you, your husband told you. They all lied to you. That's right. I'm telling you what God said, and God never lied. Never. You can't be saved being a Baptist. That's right. You cannot be in a saved being an African Methodist Episcopal. Mm. You cannot be saved being some Pentecostal because the apostles never said they were Pentecostal. That's right. I want to say, wait a minute. The Scripture says the day of Pentecost. What Pentecost. does it mean? What, what does it mean? When the day of Pentecost. Mm. Day of Pentecost. Fully come. That's right. And Elias said that was the origin of the Pentecostal church. Right. No, it wasn't. Pentecost go all the way back to the Old Testament. All the way back. And it wasn't the starting of a church. No, it wasn't. The word Pentecost means feast of weeks. That's right. It was a Jewish celebration commemorating what God done for their forefathers. That's right. How God brought them out of the land of Egypt. That's right. It wasn't the starting of no church. No. Just so happened on that day when the Jews were the symbol. Mm -hmm. Different nations under the sun. Mm -hmm. God interfered with the feast. Broke in, gave them something else in their mouth other than food. That's right. Filled them with the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues of the Spirit to give utterance. That's right. Christian scientists, it's not in here. It's not in here. Mormon, that's not in here. No, no. Jehovah Witnesses going around knocking on your door, interrupting your fishing grits. Amen. With comic books. That's right. Ain't in here. Not in here. Why would you find yourself dedicated to a religion? Why in the world are you dedicated to a religion? Faithful working in some church, professing a religion, that's not in here. It's not in here. Think of it. That's right. I don't care now what kind of size insurance policy you got. When you die, you can't correct nothing. That's right. Well, Pastor Dennis, I'm a good Christian. I just don't go to your church. I don't have no church. I don't have a church. I ain't got no church. That's right. Get me out of it. This ain't about PJ. Oh, no. This ain't about PJ. Oh, no. No, no. I'm simply a mailman. That's it. And you got a high bill. <laughs> That's right. You got a high bill. It ain't got nothing to do with me. No, no. I'm simply a mailman sent to bring you exactly what is written. And I don't spare myself in the process. That's right. Why, God ain't going to spare me. That's right. So I can't take no cheap shortcut. I can't do it. No, no. Listen. Follow peace with all men. Come on, let's go back to where you were. Back in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 21 and verse 12. All right. He that is not wise will not be taught. And? But there is a wisdom. Oh, glory to God. There is a wisdom. Which multiplieth bitterness. Which multiply bitterness. Bitterness. Now, that wisdom is twofold. That's true. Because the wisdom of Satan multiplied bitterness. Mm -hmm. And the wisdom of God. And the wisdom. Because people will be bitter with you in behalf of the wisdom of God that is preached. That's right. The wisdom of God that was given to his servants, the prophets, they mm -hmm. end up in jail. Oh, Thrown yeah. in the dungeon. Yeah. The wisdom of God that was given to his apostles, one was slain by the sword. Mm -hmm. According to history, one was shot with an arrow, but the scriptures never said that. Never said that. So you don't have to believe it. No. According to history, it says that Paul died at Nero's chopping block. You don't have to believe that either. That's right. It doesn't say Paul died at some Nero's chopping block. No. According to history, John died 96 AD in a pot of boiling oil, but you ain't got to believe that either. No. Scripture ain't never said that John died in a pot of boiling oil, like someone was just boiling him like baked chicken or something. Amen. Scripture don't say that. That's right. So you don't have to believe it. That's right. But your preacher believe it, that's why he preached it to you. Mm-hmm. When you walk around and tell him, go ahead, go ahead, Bishop. He went. He went, he went. to school and came out a liar. That's right. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> The knowledge of a wise man. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood. Glory to God. Amen. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound, abound like a flood. Like a flood. Yeah. One scripture compare wisdom to a deep well. Deep well. Why? As a deep well, if you're really thirsty, no matter how deep the well is, you will reach to quench your thirst. That's right. A person that wants wisdom would do what it takes to get wisdom so they can be wise. That's right. But why would I go to a fool seeking the wisdom of God? Amen. Why would I go to a false prophet seeking the wisdom of God? 
The problem with many of us, we go to church, but we don't know what is a preacher. Right. We think if someone drives a big black Cadillac and got a backward collar on, you know what they call a dicky. <laughs> That's right. Got a cross round their neck. Got this sincere look like a wildebeest. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> and don't talk with his regular voice. You see, the same voice that I got now, mm -hmm. you see him in the street, I'm going to talk to you the same way. The same way. You're going to meet me in the street. Well, God bless you, brother. God bless you. How are you? Oh, how are you? No, I don't talk like no fool. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I don't talk that way. Amen. I'm, I'm me. Right. But your pastors, <laughs> you see them, well, God bless you. God bless you, uh, Brother Stanley. <laughs> how are you today? Just uh -huh. ask me what's up. That's all. That's right. Well, give me all that foolishness. That's right. People are looking for excitement. Mm -hmm. more than they are looking for knowledge. Amen. So therefore, you hunting for the wrong stuff. Yeah. You're going around too busy looking for excitement, and you're not looking for proper information. Information will determine where you go in eternity. Right. Wrong information will damn you. Amen. The right information will save you. Yeah. And it's just that simple. It's that simple. Why is it that people will argue and fight when you tell them the truth, but yet, they won't argue and fight when it comes to what they learn in school. That's right. They won't argue and fight when it comes to what they learn in school, no, but no. when it comes to the truth. Amen. Listen. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood. And? And his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. That's the only type of preacher I want. The only. That's right. If his information comes from God, mm -hmm. it'll flow as a pure fountain, fountain of, life. of life. That's right. As water that's not contaminated. Yeah. That's right. What have happened in churches today, the priests or the preachers have polluted the sanctuary. That's right. Bringing pollution in the sanctuary, contamination has set in the messages. That's why your preacher, his message is written out. Right. You see that all them papers up there. <laughs> That's right. Old Reb go to seminary school and got his PhD and DD and all that. I've never been to seminary school. I've never been to what you call Bible school in my life. i never had one Bible course since I've been born. No courses. None. Mm -hmm. How do you know what you know? God taught me. That's right. And me and Williams don't rehearse on Saturday before we telecast. That's right. Because a lot of people have wrote me from all around the world. How does this man know where to go? Mm. Don't y'all practice? No. No, no. See, this is all functioned by the boss. That's right. See, that's, that's the way this works. That's right. The same right. spirit that is in me is mm. in him. That's right. Same spirit that is in him is in me. Amen. See, so therefore, we don't sit and rehearse. Well, you get that scripture when I say this. You get that scripture. Right. Listen, I got seven kids. I ain't got time to sit and practice with him. No, no. A wife and seven kids. I got other things to do. Amen. And want to do. Amen. Other That's than right. practice with him. That's right. He got a wife and kids. That's right. No time. Ain't got no time for that. No, no. This is the Lord's doing. Oh, yeah. And it's marvelous in our eyes. Amen. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, what are you doing for the salvation of self? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Have you been born again? Mm -hmm. And if you say yes, the question is how? Oh. How are you born again? Mm -hmm. How many here joined the church? Raise your hand. Okay. How many here have been sprinkled for baptism? How many accept Jesus Christ as their personal savior and you were saved? How many here believe in their heart or confess with their mouth? The preacher told you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, and you are saved. And you did that. And that day you confessed to be a Christian. Raise your hand. See, some folks done it but won't raise their hand because they've been watching that telecast. <laughs> I ain't no fool. <laughs> How many here have been baptized using the words Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Raise your hand. Tell the truth. I mean, and baptized like that today. Never mind you that got baptized over. You don't count. 
unto my them that are presently right presently. now baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Right now. Because if you are Baptist, that's the way you baptize. If you are Lutheran, that's the way you baptize. If you, if that, that's the way you baptize. That's right. Many deny the nomination, that's the way you baptize. T.D. Jakes and all the rest of them, non-nominational devils, that's the way they baptize. T.D. Well, Jakes is a man of God. T.D. Jakes is a liar. That's right. Go ahead, brother. He's a liar. Amen. Anytime a man speak against the baptism, baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and preach to the people, you don't have to have it. You need it. After the word of God says, repent, repent. and be baptized, every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, and Jake's come along later, hmm. who was baptized himself. Yes, sir. Mm. Jake's came out of a so-called apostolic church, yes, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Yes, sir. But now he's making that money and got that crowd. Mm. No baptism. No baptism. You that love him, you love a liar. Yes. That's right. Go ahead. Think because a man is famous, he can't be a false prophet. That's right. Most of them are. Most of them are. Most of them are. The man teaching deviate from this, his fame ain't worth a dime. No, it's not. Let a man blow you to sleep because he get up and just talk about love all day. What's that <laughs> fellow name in Texas that always grinning? Joe Olstein. <laughs> Amen. Osteen don't teach nothing that I save nobody. Nobody. Osteen don't want to offend nobody. Osteen taught that Muslims and Christians alike, everybody gonna be in heaven. He don't teach nothing. My Lord. All he tell you, me and my darling wife, we were sitting at breakfast. I told her, honey, you better turn the stove down so the bacon don't burn. My Lord. And I looked into her eyes and saw Christ. While the bacon was on the stove. My Lord, my Lord. And then, and then, and then, and then the Lord used my, my, used my little child. My little child came in and said, Daddy, I love you. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. Am I right? Amen. 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 These crazy folk will sit and look at that smiling clown all day. Yes, they will. And you know what they say? I was touched by his love. <laughs> That's right. He don't believe that Jesus is the almighty God. Mm. He don't believe in the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Do not believe that speaking in tongues is of a necessity to have the Holy Ghost. Oh, Lord. Don't believe it. My Lord. So how did you feel the warmth and the love of God from a circus clown? That's right. Nothing but a performer. That's all. That's all. Nothing but a performer. Amen. There's no spirit there. Right. It is written, the body without the spirit is dead. dead. you got to have the spirit of God in that church. That's right. And that preacher got to be filled with the spirit of God. If not, dead. 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 It's pitiful. If I tell you you must be, must have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, then fight the baptism, mm -hmm. no good. No good. All Jake's do is bounce across the stage sweating like a sea lion. <laughs> That's, right. That's all. That's all. And some folk don't like me because I speak about these men. Mm -hmm. And when I speak about them, you say, I don't have love. If I don't have love, then Jesus don't have it. Amen. <laughs> Because Jesus, Jesus spoke against spoke Caesar. Against, that's right. He spoke against false prophets. Many false prophets. When they came to him about Caesar, he said, tell that fox. That's right. I do these things. These things. That's right. But they criticized me. Where's your love? You, know, you, you, speak, you speak about men. I most certainly do. That's right. I'm supposed to. Supposed to. That's right. Don't crit if you're going to criticize me, when a man go break in your house, don't you speak, don't you speak his name. So you know who it is? Don't go tell the cops. Well, y'all know who it was. It was Jake. <laughs> That's right. Just ignore it. Show love. Show, show love. <laughs> That's right. 
Let him take everything you got. That's Show right. love. Show some love. Go ahead, oh, that foolish talk. Amen. The reason why folk get upset because I crowd against these men because they love them. Mm -hmm. Because some of them is your pastor. Amen. I'm a very independent preacher. I don't look hunt for folks to love me. No. I know if they love God, you're going to love us. That's right. You see, a lot of people, there are those that have the mentality of wanting to be accepted by others. Mm -hmm. I'm not like, I ain't never been that way. No, no. I'm not worrying about who don't accept us. Mm -hmm. Long as God accepts me, I have this deep satisfaction. Oh, yeah. This is what makes preachers preach what people want to hear. They want to be accepted by the people. That's right. So they're worried about acceptance, and yet what they're telling you, God is not accepting it. That's it. My interest is being accepted by God. I can live with being rejected yes, by people. Amen. Because it's written, be not afraid of, of their faces. Right. Unless I can found thee before, before them. them. Before them. So the objective and the job of the preachers when he declared the message of God is not be concerned how people look at him. I mean, from up here, I, folks are giving me all type of expression. The Lord <laughs> lead me to hit some subjects. I've seen some women like, hmm. <laughs> I've seen some women give me a look just. <laughs> all type of stuff. Type of I've seen men be like, hit that second wife. They were oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I hear that living together, not married. Sometimes a man won't be like. <laughs> so some walk away thinking that we're picking on them. I ain't picking on you. The reason why the word of God come hit you where your sin is, God is letting you know. I see you. That's right. Isn't it something? Because anytime God move a man or preach something and you don't, he don't know you personally, God's mm -hmm. just letting you know through the man. I see you. That's right. You're not hiding. That's right. You that's on your way to divorce court and all that stuff. And you happy now because you and your, you know, you and your first wife done signed the papers Sign the and papers. you agree, you, you know, because you got sent your weight in the background to get that, got that new wife just waiting. Yeah. You better wipe that smile off your face, boy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Several of you, many of you in here, you know, already done divorced one another. Hmm. Your first wife's still living, and your first husband's still living. Mm -hmm. And you and your second wife is here. That's right. Mm. You feeling warm about now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> You're on your second, your second squeeze is here. My Lord. Sure. She, I mean, she pregnant now. My Lord. As long as your first wife living, God don't even recognize your second wife. That's right. And woman, woman, if you are married and done divorce your husband, and you got a baby or got pregnant by a man mm -hmm. outside of your marriage, God call you mm -hmm. a hoe. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to show you this. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 23. Listen! And begin reading in verse 22. What is it? Thus shall it go also with the wife. Thus shall it go also with the wife. That leaveth her husband. That leave her husband. And bringeth in an heir by another. Bring in an heir. An heir is a child. Because mm -hmm. an heir is a child that inherits. That's right. Bring in an heir by another. For, Bring in mm -hmm. a child by someone else. That's right. She left her husband. Left. And now, somebody else got her pregnant. That's right. Listen. For first, first, she hath disobeyed the law of the Most High. This is what you've done, woman. I don't care how happy you are about your new baby. Mm. You yeah. happy God ain't. That's right. Listen. For first, this is the first thing you've done. For first, she hath disobeyed the law of the Most High. You disobeyed the law of the Most High. And secondly, second, 
She hath trespassed against her own husband. That goes to show you divorce is not honorable in the eyes of God because in his eyes he still called that first man your own husband. That's right. Own husband. I don't care how old you are. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you're old enough to be my daddy. That's right. You got a second wife and your first wife still living. Mm-hmm. You're living in adultery. In adultery. I don't care how much you love her. That's right. Love ain't going to get you out of that pine box. Oh, no. What love got to do with it? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> come on, come on, son. And secondly, secondly, she hath trespassed against you her trespassed own husband. trespassed against your own husband. And thirdly, third, she hath played the whore in adultery. <laughs> Amen. Brother, don't you call my wife a whore? I didn't. And thirdly, <laughs> she I hath. Didn't. That's right. I, I didn't. That's right. Well, the Lord said. And thirdly, thirdly, she has played the whore. See, when she was laying with you, she was playing. Am I all right? <laughs> That's right. She was playing. Go ahead, brother. Or the name of the game. The whore. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, brother. Are you listening? Go ahead. Did what? She has played. What was the name of the game? The whore. Amen. Written. Written. Mm. Now, if you want to stop being a hoe, <laughs> that's right. You mm. and your first husband got to reconcile. reconcile. Otherwise, you got to live neutral. That's right. Now we got a problem. That is a problem. Well, God didn't attempt for me not to have no man. You should have stayed with the first one. Yeah. Well, Pastor Jennings, he was beating me and kicking me. Well, the Bible, the scripture says you can separate. Separate. Well, what about the scripture that says you can uh, uh, put your wife away, except to be performed in cases you can put her away. But if you married her, that's put away, you commit adultery. They ain't dealing with no divorce there. No, no. They brought Jesus Moses' law. Yes, they did. And Jesus said, Moses. That's right. Because of the hardness of your heart. And never said God let you do it. Moses. This is what people overlooked. That's right. Listen at this. Matthew chapter 19, we'll begin at verse 7. Because now this teaching is spreading around the so-called apostolic church. That's right. No good for nothing is going around telling the folk, now you can divorce. Amen. Tell me that. Mm-hmm. I make you lick that stuff up. That's right. Tell me that. That's right. Listen. Matthew chapter 19 and at verse 7. What is it? They say unto him. They say unto him. Why did Moses Why then did Moses then command, command to give a writing of divorce? A writing of divorce. And to put her away. To put her away. Now, the term writing of divorce, of divorce. lets you know that there were some papers involved. That's right. Through the discontinuing. Of this marriage. That's right. It wasn't a word of mouth. He mm-hmm. gave them a bill of divorce, bill of divorce. some writing. Writings. Some legal ramifications involved, some legal things here. That's right. Listen good. I want to break it down good. That's right. Because many of these so called apostolic fellas now tell them, folks, you can divorce. Mm-hmm. Tell me that. Amen. Come on, tell what? me. That's We're right. in the ballpark. Pitch that to me. Pitch it up. All the bases are loaded. That's right. Jeremiah, Paul, James. Mm-hmm. The back catcher is Christ himself. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Tell us that. Amen. Don't ever let someone try to bring one scripture, then it contradicts another. That's right. You got to make that stuff harmonize. Oh, yeah. Listen. Why did Moses then command to give a writing of divorce uh-huh. and to put her away? What else? He saith unto them, Moses, because. No, God. Moses. God. Moses. Moses. Because of the hardness because of, of your the heart. Moses allowed this stuff. That's right. God plainly told you what he allowed. That's right. Moses, because the hardness of your heart. Suffered you to put away your wife. He suffered you to put away your wives. But. But. From the beginning. We heard what Moses allowed. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to hear what God allowed. But from the beginning. From the beginning. It when was he not. he made man. 
It was not so. It wasn't even meant to be for a man to divorce his wife. That's right. From the beginning, it wasn't meant to be. That's right. Now listen to what Jesus said. And I say unto you. I said. Whosoever shall put away his wife. Now if you notice, Jesus changed the language. Yes, he did. He didn't use the term divorce. No, he didn't. He come along and change the language. That's right. Whosoever put away his wife, except it except be for fornication, save it be for fornication, and shall marry and another, and marry another, committeth adultery. Holy. No, read, read, read the rest of it, and I come back up to that. And whoso marrieth her which is put away, what else? doeth commit adultery. And what? His disciples say unto him. The disciples heard that thing that Jesus, that, uh, that Jesus dropped on them, and their response was. If the case of the man be so with his the wife. Case of the, if the man got to go through this with his wife. It is not good to marry. It's better we just stay like we are. But he said unto them. <laughs> that's right. It's better we don't even go there, Jesus. <laughs> that's right. And what? But he said unto them, all men cannot receive this saying. All men can't handle this. Save they to whom it is given. Yeah, all men can't handle this. <laughs> Only right. those that can handle it, you know, they can deal with it. That's right. Those that can't handle it, they went on the, you know, the eunuch spree. Yeah. Born a eunuch, made eunuchs of men, men, made themselves eunuch for the kingdom of, you know, God's sake. That's right. But save it be for fornication. fornication. Now, the word fornication and the word adultery. Mm -hmm. Both have similarities. Both have similarities. That's right. What do they have that is similar? Unclean. 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 That's right. But now you got to do with the class of people. Can a married person commit fornication? Yes. How? Depending upon what law judges. Right. Because if the married man divorced his wife by the laws of the land, he's single. Mm -hmm. And if he go with another woman outside of the married woman, by the law of the land, he's single. He's fornicating. Right. But if I come back and judge that man with the laws of God, he's committing adultery. That's right. By the laws of the land, he's not married. He's a fornicator. Right. But come back and judge him with the laws of God, which is the ultimate law. Ultimate law. He's an adulterer. That's right. That's right. Because the laws of God is what outweighs it. Mm -hmm. So, from that perspective, a married man can commit fornication. Mm -hmm. An espoused person has a title wife, right. and the man has the title husband, like right. Mary and Joseph. That's right. And this is what Joseph thought that Mary done. He thought that she fornicated. Right. He wanted to put her away privately. Pri privately. Men now are saying Jesus is giving men an outlet mm -hmm. to divorce their wives if their wife commit fornication. Right. Now, and that's the interpretation of it. Here's your problem. Mm -hmm. You got Jesus arguing with Paul. With Paul. Paul said in the book of Corinthians, mm -hmm. he that is bound, bound to a wife, seek not to be loose. Seek not to be loose. To be loose. Yeah. That's right. That means you can't even seek a way out. That's right. That's right. So if I'm looking to divorce, I'm seeking a way out. A way out. So that would contradict Jesus. That's right. Not only that, Jesus taught. Whom the Lord have joined together, yeah, let not man, man put asunder. Sunder. So if I come preaching you divorce, you can divorce. I'm a man. I'm putting asunder through teaching. Amen. Couples. That's right. That's right. These brothers got the interpretation wrong. A man that breaketh wedlock. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes 23 and verse 18. A man that break wedlock. Saying. Saying, thus in his heart, thus in his heart, who seeth me? Who see me? I am compassed about with I'm darkness. I'm compassed about with darkness. The walls cover the me. The walls cover me. And nobody sees nobody me. see me. What need I to what fear? What need have I to be afraid? The Most High will the not, remember, will my not sins. remember my sins. Such a man only, Such a man only feareth the eyes feareth of the men, eyes of people, and knoweth not that the eyes, that the, the, the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways, beholding of men, all the ways of man, and consider. 
considering the most secret parts. This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. Then what? And where, and where he suspecteth not, he shall be taken. Did you hear this? Amen. You come along divorcing, except it be for fornication. There's fornication, then there's fornicator. That's right. A person can commit fornication once. Mm-hmm. A fornicator is just those that are, have a reputation. Mm-hmm. You can commit adultery once. Right. Living in adultery, that's your life. That's why it says living. That's right. That's your life. It's your lifestyle. Your lifestyle. Now, people now, and to my sad regret, so-called preachers who claim they are of the faith, <laughs> these fellows, that's I right. can't call them preachers. Fellows. These fellows. One scripture <laughs> says, put this fellow in prison. <laughs> that's right. That's right. These fellows are now looking at Matthew after they done preached against divorce for years. Mm-hmm. Changing. Changing. And they're saying, you can do it. That's right. My Lord. Because the words of Jesus, he said, put them away. Now, we got to make Jesus and the apostles agree, like I told one brother. Jesus rose from the dead and it's written, then open he their understanding. Mm-hmm. So I asked him, if this is what Jesus meant, why is it the understanding of the apostles was not open with the same interpretation you had? That's right. Because the only time that the apostles preached about putting a woman away was mm-hmm. separation. separation. That's right. Notice the seventh chapter of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and that verse 10. And unto the married I command, yet not I, if but you the go, Lord. If any of you young people got in mind to marry and you're going to go into marriage and someone telling you you divorce, you can divorce, well, where does forgiveness come in at? That's right. Someone said, well, wait a minute. No, you wait. <laughs> Jesus said, husband, love your wives. Ass. That's right. Ass. Christ loved the church. Amen. And if he say ass, he loved the church, mm-hmm. there's reconciliation, That's right. there's forgiveness, and there's compassion, and there's restoration. That's right. But if I come along, divorce in the first shot because you can fornicate more than one way. Oh, yeah. It is written, the invention of idols mm. is the beginning spiritual of spiritual fornication. fornication. Well, someone say, well, I, well no, nobody separate all just a minute. Hmm. Just say, well, Williams, he's married. And his wife, Reese. Mm. All of a sudden, Reese. Become an idolater. She started worshiping Buddha. <laughs> She's committing fornication. That's right. And yet, Reese, who's sleeping, don't want to change. <laughs> I woke you up, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and yet, Reese, don't want to change. <laughs> so every time she's worshiping Buddha, mm-hmm. she becomes, in fact, when she starts, if she do it once, she fornicated once. Mm-hmm. But if that becomes her religion, she's a fornicator. Fornicator, that's right. And if she refused to change, mm-hmm. he can put her away. What you mean? He can separate. That's right. But he can't marry nobody else. Why? How can two walk together except they agree? If they agree. She still committed fornication. That's right. And she's married. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. So that fornication is not narrowed down to the violation of this temple. It's also narrowed down to the violation of spirits. Spirits. Well, when you violate spirit, you still violate the temple. Because the temple is where the spirit of God dwells. That's right. And when you do with this temple towards another God. That you don't do towards the most high. That's right. Then he called it spiritual fornication. So that's a broad concept. Mm -hmm. But now. You got to look at what Jesus said about those who pursue idols. pursue idols. He says, I'm married to the backslider. That's right. See, when a person leaves the husband or leaves the wife, that's a form of backsliding. Mm-hmm. Because you have departed. When a woman leaves her husband, she has departed from her Lord. 
That's right. Not from her Lord in heaven. No. But Sarah called Abraham Lord. That's right. She departed from the Lord of her house because the head of every woman is what? The man. He's a man. That's all the word Lord means. You know, don't get bent out of the shape. <laughs> That's right. Mm, my Lord. Don't get bent out of shape. Out of shape. The word Lord just simply means one to have the overall. He's, he's, he's over. That's right. So the man, he's, he's over his house. A responsible man. Right. He's supposed to be over his house. If he's irresponsible, then <laughs> amen. He diminished from Lord to infidel. That's right. But it's written, if he don't provide for his own, he's worse. Worse than an infidel. Than an infidel. So, listen at what the book of Scripture says in the 7th chapter of 1 Corinthians in verse 10. And unto the married I command, yet not I but the Lord. What is it? Let not the wife depart from her husband. What? But, and if she depart. If she leave. Let her remain unmarried. Or... or or be reconciled to her husband. This is the only place where you find the apostles dealing with the separation of the husband and the wife. That's right. They didn't conclude with the revelation, oh, well, you can go ahead and divorce. If no. you go and, you know, outside of the marriage, you can divorce her. They didn't do that. No, no. So if they didn't come back with that understanding, how is that a group of preachers going to do it? That's right. God is not guiding you. You, you're putting people in jeopardy. That's right. You're putting those that are married in jeopardy and those that got a mind to marry, you're putting them in jeopardy. Amen. Why? Because a man may do it just to get out of a marriage. That's right. That's right. And this is what these fellows are not using wisdom. A woman may do it just to get out of marriage. Mm -hmm. You understand? Preacher come along, give me that rope. And they marriage already on the rocks. And she's like, I know what I do. Looking for a way out. Mm -hmm. right. To go with some fella, two minutes is over, come back and tell him, well, I, you know, I, I went out on you. Hmm. Well, he already won out. Yeah. And she won out. Amen. Well, Elder, you told if she fornicate, I can, I can put her away. Yes, yes, yes. I can divorce her, can I? I can divorce her. Well, did she do it? Yeah, she done it. She confessed to me. Hmm. Now, a dumb elder would just say, well, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, divorce Wise man would say, let's see how we can fix this. Right. That's let's see right. how we can fix it. That's right. See the danger? When some nut come telling you, oh, just put away and divorce her. Mm -hmm. He's taking all the hope away out of your relationship. And the book says where there's life, there's hope. There's hope. Yeah. These fellas need a God sent men to teach them. They stop lying That's to right. the people. That's right. And, and, and these preachers wonder why I won't fellowship with them. I am not bending to compromise that book. Amen. I'm not bending to do it. These men, they're getting worse and worse. I, I remember I talked to my brother. I, I, I said, man, you get worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Teaching is pushing people away from God instead of closer to God. That's right. That's right. You know what makes it so bad? People who used to didn't believe in divorce sitting there, amen. That's right. Amen. That's what the book says. Break it down, explain it, and make that scripture interlock with this. That's right. It's like building Legos. You got to make that thing interlock. Oh, yeah. He that is bound to a wife, it says, seek, seek not. Me. It says, don't even, to if, if you are told not to seek a thing, you are told, don't even look for it. That's right. Don't even look. Don't even look no way whatsoever. Yeah. Oh. This is, that's what it means. Don't look for a way out. Mm -hmm. So if it says, seek not to be loose, which means don't look for a way out, then you come along telling me Jesus gave you a way out, you got the scriptures lying. They're lying. Amen. Do you see? You got the scriptures lying. Mm -hmm. Seek not to be loose. Seek not to be loose. But yeah, you go around telling that, putting away, that means Jesus said you can divorce him. Right. Jesus is saying now you can be loose. That's right. You got the scriptures lying. That's right. no, you, you ain't dividing it. You ain't cutting that pie right. No, no. You ain't right dividing the word of truth. Amen. Come on, a revelation. Ain't no revelation. That's a feeling. That's all it is. That's the James Brown syndrome. That's right. Got the feeling. That's right. It's the James Brown syndrome. You just got the feeling. Amen. There ain't no revelation, man. Revelation don't put the people in sin. 
No, no. Revelation comes to pull the people out of sin. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. Come on, go back to where you were. Come on, son. Back. Everybody all right? Yeah. Give, me, give me the correct time, brother. Come on. Back in the book of Ecclesiastes 21 and verse 13. All right. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood. Yes. And his counsel is like a pure fountain of life. Uh -huh. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel. Why is the inner parts of a fool like a broken vessel? You get a broken vessel, you fill it up with water. The water eventually runs out, doesn't it? Amen. A fool is compared to a broken vessel. You can't contain it. You won't hold it. You won't retain the knowledge. That's right. And sometimes... We are not broken when we're receiving our knowledge, but we get around people that break us. That's right. <laughs> you understand? Amen. Sometimes we have the knowledge, but then our uh, atmosphere is written. Evil communications, what does it do? So when you start hanging around that atmosphere that corrupts you, I, if you're not careful, they're gonna, by the time they keep tapping on your mind, telling you, you know what, this is the way it is, man. This is the way it is, man. This is the way it is, man. This is the way it is. When they start penetrating, little cracks. That's right. Start to form in that vessel. Mm -hmm. Won't be full on. You go from, you can divorce now. After that, now we can have women preachers. Mm -hmm. One thing will lead to the other. Another. Why do you think I tell the people to come out these churches? I tell them to lead the churches at their father pastor, their grandfather pastor, their husband. I don't care who they are. That's right. You got one soul and you shall fight for the salvation of your soul. That's right. Come on, brother. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel. The inner parts of a fool is like a broken vessel. And he will hold no knowledge. Can't tell, you can't tell a fool nothing. That's right. I know. I talk to a lot of them. Amen. Hard to get through to a fool. A fool right. always think they know. Right. And then when you try to talk to them to educate them, you can't tell them nothing. That's right. A wise person wants to better themselves. In every area of life, they want to improve. That's right. They want to improve. Because sometimes a person can see potential in someone that they can't even see in themselves. That's right. So wisdom will mingle among that which may have potential so it can upgrade it. Yeah. Like computers. Computers go through upgrading. That's right. Why? You want to get everything you can out of that software. Mm -hmm. You know, but if you want the slocums. <laughs> You get satisfied, taking about an hour for that thing to get moving, you know. <laughs> Still trying to talk to people with a cup and a rope, a can and a rope on end. That's right. Happy with it. Happy. Having made no improvement, having made no adjustments, there's always room for improvement. Amen. But these preachers, if they are behind in knowledge and wisdom and understanding, then that keeps the people behind. That's right. And the people but get in a comfort zone. You get false teaching and become spoiled in it for years. And I have men tell me, well, I've been in this church for so long, you know, I no need for me to leave it now. Hmm. I had a man tell me he was 65 years old. He had good knowledge. Never got baptized. Never received the Holy Ghost. And I asked him, I said, well, sir, you got this knowledge, you know. I mean, are you going to obey it? He said, oh, I know I'm going to. He told me straight up. He said, I know I'm going to hell. I said, that don't bother you? Ah. Before you hit hell, you're going to be bothered just by the fact you're standing yeah. before the judgment seat of God. That's right. Before it opens. Because you got folks saying there ain't no hell. Yeah. Just a lake of fire. You know, hell. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Hell is a bottomless pit. That's right. Hell and lake of fire is the same, same thing. thing. Question is, why is it called a lake of fire? Mm -hmm. Lake of fire means it covers. It covers you. Mm -hmm. Swallow you up. How deep is that lake? Bottomless. Bottomless. Hell is also called a bottomless pit. Hell is also called out of darkness. That's right. That's a lot of titles. They shall be cast into out of darkness. It's talking about hell. There are religions down that teach, like certain areas of Islam teach, when you die, you go to hell right then. 
But if you become obedient while you're in hell, you are able to come out of hell and go into paradise. Wish. Wow. It ain't quite that easy, buddy. Hmm. There are two hells. Mm-hmm. You got grave, that's hell. And then Moses preached about the lower hell. The term lower lets you know there is a hell lower than the grave. One hell can be dug mm-hmm. and measured. The other hell have no measurement, and Amen. God is deeper than that. That's right. And the book says, Thou shalt not leave my soul in hell. Yeah. Talking about the grave. Neither the suffer grave. the Holy One to see corruption. I was talking about the grave That's because the grave. there's no corruption in the eternal hell. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. That's why it says, in the day of judgment, they was cast in the lake of fire where the beasts and the false prophets are. What is that lake of fire? Mm-hmm. That lake of fire has another title, hell. Yeah. What other title does it have? Bottomless pit. Bottomless pit. What else does it have? Out of darkness. A lot of titles. Same place. That's right. One scripture says you shall be tormented day and night. Without ceasing. Yeah. Read quick so I can knock off. The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel, and he will know and he will hold no knowledge as long as he liveth. Oh man. Have you ever met some people? You can't tell them nothing ever? Ever. That's right. They're ever learning, but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Yeah. I mean, you talk to them and talk to them and talk to them and talk to them and talk to them, and it's like there's no use. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they tell you, don't give up on me. But then you wonder, where, where is it hope at all? That's right. I mean, you wonder, is it hope? Can you ever get through to them? Hello? Anybody there? That's right. I mean, they got boxes up here in the attic, but the boxes are empty. Huh. Real quick. If a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend it and add unto it. A skillful man want to increase his skill. That's right. Skillful man wants to better himself. A skillful man would align himself with someone who's not just familiar with his skill, but maybe better at it than him so he can learn. That's right. The book says it this way iron, softening. Iron. Iron. That's right. You understand? Mm-hmm. Iron sharpeneth Sharpen. iron. And iron, when it sharpens iron, then the iron that you use after it's sharpened, man's able to cut. That's right. You get a fool, man, it's hard to tell a fool something. You gotta be patient with a fool, man. Oh, yeah. I have fool right me. You call folks a fool, yeah. so do Jesus. Amen. So did the apostles. So did the apostles. The fool and slow of heart. <laughs> That's right. Believe all the prophets have said. That's right. And this is the way people are today. Some say I'm a fool for Christ. All right. But don't be so fool for Christ until you run past Christ. <laughs> That's right. See? See, when you're a fool for Christ, it's like, but you run past Christ. Mm-hmm. You got a zeal, but no knowledge. No knowledge. Like if someone is testifying and someone conducting praise service and they got to keep telling them, well, please, please, uh, that's, that's enough, please, sir, have a seat. Please, sir, have a seat. Sir, please, have a seat. Sir, will you please have a seat? <laughs> see, 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 a nut like that would think, well, I'm zealous for Christ. No, no. you're just a fool. That's right. Because the Holy Ghost do not behave itself how? Unseemly. Don't do it. Amen. And God house, let all things be done how? Decently and in order. So you got to be careful when you blame your behavior on Christ. Because right. sometimes you feel like a nut. And sometimes you don't. <laughs> Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. <laughs> All right, it should be about what? Close to 3 o'clock? 
All right, evening session, we will start, God willing, at 5.30. We'll be back at the Branch Temple and Newport News. Now, so we do hope that all of you, tomorrow's Labor Day, most folk ain't got to work. Is that right? Meet us in Newport News at the Branch Temple. Everybody. You ain't got to go to work tomorrow. Well, Pastor Jenny, I'm, I'm sleepy and tired. Listen, I haven't been long got back from Sierra Leone, West Africa. Now, my whole trip to, from in Africa, I didn't even have a meal. I lived off water and meal bars for my whole trip. Preached for hours on an empty stomach. Traveled to preach for hours. Traveled all the way back for hours. Laboring and suffering. Folk in one service. Oh, I, don't hurt, I, don't have, I have a belly full from Christ. <laughs> See you tonight. <laughs> See you tonight. We're in the men's convention being... The Newport News Temple tonight. Then wait for your cookout tomorrow, if you live. That's pretty much where it's at. If you live, the Lord's will. That's the truth of it, right? So please, let's be at the Newport News Temple tonight. Service will begin, God willing, at 5.30. Prayer begin at 5.30, from 5.30 to 6. 6 o'clock. Praise service start. Let's go on and close out this men's conference and have a good time tonight. Um, there was something else that came to my mind, but it slipped. All right. Maybe it'll come back later. All right, we're going to turn the service over to the hands of Brother Alfred.